Ubiquity has released 17 new products in February 2025. And to make sure you're making the right buying and design decisions, I'll walk you through every single product and point out the main considerations. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Bogdan Shpurny, founder of Apex One IT. And last month from Ubiquity, we saw new Unify products in the cloud gateways category here, switching camera security, door access, and also a couple of accessories. So let's go ahead and get to the first product and that's in switching. This is a little bit boring for me, but you might be into it because I just don't do enterprise. But announced, I guess it's technically not released yet. It's the Campus Enterprise 24S PoE. They had the standard one. This is the stacking one, which is a little crazy. They have these 100 gig ports for stacking them like this. Okay, so there's that one. And then they also have a 48 port version, same thing. And they actually, that's the other two products is the 600 watts power module and the 1200. And as you can see, they're compatible with those enterprise switches. And in terms of camera security, there's no new actual cameras, just accessories for that. But they're very useful, like uh, this game box mounting plate. Right now, what they have is in white and it's to mount it. Let me just show you right here, right to like a single game box. Maybe you had a light installed there before, something like that. And it's compatible essentially with every single camera. So the non kind of dome turret ones, they have a clean mounting plate, even for the G5 PTZ Ultra. But for the dome ones, it just goes right over it. And the model number here, it says, you know, ends with dash W indicating white. So I'm thinking hopefully they'll have one in black as well. And it's at $39. The other kind of possibility if you're looking for something like this, especially to hide that ethernet dongle there. Then they have also for $10 more the junction boxes. If you can use this, you know, you save the clients, your customer at 10 bucks, that's good. And another thing with camera security is their new Superlink product, or it's gonna be a whole line of products really or devices. This is their first wireless gateway. So Superlink that's going to work with the other Superlink devices. Right now it's just compatible with the already existing all-in-one sensor. This right here is what I'm talking about. These are their other Superlink devices that they're going to come out with, which I just had a customer ask me about this, if I can do some kind of security for them. And that was really quick there, but if you slow down this video, you'll see they have a bunch more coming like wireless door sensors, leak sensors, siren, alarm, glass break. So those would be cool. Right now, the only kind of reason you'll get this is maybe if your existing Unify access point doesn't have Bluetooth built in because then you can't use the all-in-one sensor here that's already existing, you need Bluetooth for that. For that reason, you could pick up the Superlink if you want to deploy a couple of these. And for door access, we just have one device, really just an enclosure. So this is the utility box. It's a steel box, lockable as you can see, hardware is of course included. But as you can see, you can feed the wires, ethernet cables through the bottom and actually has three different ports that you can use. But it's at 119 and it's compatible essentially with you know all your door access hubs and some of the larger switches. So not just the flex, you know, for flex, there's the flex utility enclosure, but this box is bigger. And so it's able to handle larger devices like that new flex 2.5 gig PoE. As you can see here, I mean, this is kind of the main thing that came out last month in February is these three new cloud gateways and real is actually six devices. So let's go ahead first into the Unify Express. It comes in at 189, which is the price of the original UDR, the Wi-Fi 6 version. It definitely has a much more snappier interface. That was one of the main complaints with the original UX for those who like to really go in there and see what's happening. A similar stuff, everything you get patch cable that comes with it. You now 10 gig, 2.5 gig LAN here. It is Wi-Fi 7, so you can actually use that 10 gig. It's actually useful. One of the main last things with this guy is that it also has intrusion prevention built in. So it doesn't have, you know, every single one is like 13 categories, but with it, uh, you know, you won't get 10 gig, but you get 2.3 gigabits per second throughput, which the original one doesn't have. So that's one of the reasons why you might want to pick this one up other than the fact that obviously it's Wi-Fi 7. And then the new UDR, of course. So UDR 7, Wi-Fi 7, it's the same size. It, Comes with a micro SD, 64 gigabyte micro SD in there. Of course, it's Wi-Fi 7. It has one PoE port as opposed to the two that the previous model had. But as you can see, 10 gig SFP plus here. When, but it can also be used for LAN. So, you know, if you don't have 10 gig internet 
And this one also has intrusion prevention that throttles you down to 2.3 gigabits per second. So let's say you're plugging in to this 2.5, your internet, you can use this 10 gig for like a UNAS Pro. And now everyone who's hitting that NAS, uh, you know, they're not bottlenecked by anything. And all the rest of these ports are 2.5. So for $80 more, I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, and then finally, this one, for you guys who work with customers, deploy for small business, this is probably gonna be the go-to actually instead. So it doesn't have Wi-Fi 7 or any access point built in, but it has three 10 gig ports, right? Two SFP plus, and the other ones are 2.5, and you get a PoE plus, so that UDR7 had a PoE. This is PoE plus, and the throughput with intrusion prevention is five gigabits per second. So now, if you have a customer that's you know using more than like two, two and a half gig internet, this is most likely the device, and honestly, I'm sure it's gonna last quite a long time for what it is. It really is uh, much more future-proof. And if you notice, right, this runs all the applications as well, and it has right there that NVMe slot. With no storage, it's the same price at 279 as the UDR7. For $120 more, you can get the one terabyte built into it, and that also includes the slots, because the no storage one does not have that. You need this SSD tray for $19. And for 250 more, you can get a two terabyte. Now, interestingly enough, the Cloud Gateway Max actually costs a lot more to upgrade. So you go from 200 to plus 150 for one terabyte, plus 280 for two terabyte. So the UCG fiber, the storage at least, is actually kind of more bang for your buck. And with the UCG Max, you also get the patch cable, the little rubber feet, as you would expect. And of course, all of these are linked in the video description for you. And for those of you guys who don't like the cloud gateways, once you host this yourself, they do have just the gateway fiber here. It's the body's nearly identical, but there's some important differences. So there's no screen here and there's no NVMe slot at all. So it's, it's all just enclosed. You can't upgrade or anything. So you use your Unify hosting here and that's what's in the box. And then finally, there's four more accessories they release. So this, this is the last four of the 17 this PoE integrated AC adapter. So the use case for this, like the UCG Max Ultra, the idea is that you have one outlet that you're using to power both the gateway and like an access point or a PoE switch. So in the box, you get this kind of USB-C to Ethernet that plugs in there, the mounting plate as well. And it comes in $50, which honestly does sound expensive, but this is a 10 gig port on here and it's PoE plus. So they do sell, for example, you can get the PoE, you know, you're thinking when you when you buy like a cloud gateway, like the UCG Max, it obviously comes with its own power adapter. So if you want to power something else, you have to get a PoE injector. And let's say you need an access point that needs PoE plus. So their 2.5 gig adapter is $19. They don't have a PoE plus 10 gig. They do have a PoE plus plus 10 gig and that's $40. So $10 less. Yeah, $10 less, less, but if you're looking for PoE Plus, $2.5, $19. So it's really, the reason we'll be buying this if you just want a cleaner install, okay? And since the UDR7 now comes with a built-in micro SD card, some of their cameras now support edge recording, right? Meaning you can put a micro SD card in there so it can record on that card and on your UNVR. So now they're also selling one. So for $256, $50 one for 256 gigabyte or $29 for 128 gigabyte. And finally, some of you guys I know out there printed these before because there are SCL files for this. But yes, this is for the patch panel, like a blank. And you can see it's made just for a password. So maybe you're passing through a cable from your modem from the back of the rack, something like that. It has this little notch in here that pops out. I mean, this one's a little crazy. This, this is all the cables are going through with these pass-throughs. But it's usually, you know, maybe you want to hide your DAC cable. That's what that's for. So for $19, you get 12 of these um, with the covers. So it's basically twice the cost of these blanks that you get. This image right here is actually a little more realistic because I did deploy these just now. And in case you miss this, but just recently, they also released these toolless keystone jacks, right? So yeah, you don't need any kind of crimper. It's all kind of done by putting the cables in there, crunching it down with your hand, uh, essentially but they have ones for CAS6 in white and CAS6A in this uh, silver, you know, which matches that ubiquity color. And I did just do that for a customer using these new pass-through inserts and the Toolist CAS6 Keystone Jacks from Unify. So if you want to see that, I'll have that video up here soon. 
Otherwise, click on the video down below if you want to learn more about the unified cloud gateways and if they're a good fit for you or maybe for your customer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.